Good morning, young people. We are so happy to see you in coming in your numbers. We are thankful to the Lord for that. And I wish to all of you that you will experience the blessing of the Lord. So there are a number of announcements here and also some food or um, cards for the meals that I'll read out as well. But this is very important, what I'm going to start with, this announcement. There are a number of children that have come that are injured in some way or other. Oh, there were the uh, airstrippers. There's some razor wire on the edge. And there's a hedge that is being grown. And the hedge, you can't see the wire properly through the hedge. And now some of the Boys or girls have been injured there and cut and they've had to be stitched up. And that's so if you're running after the ball while you're playing, just be very careful. Don't just go for the fence. Uh, rather go carefully around. Please pass this message on. You who've heard, pass it to the others that don't know. Because it's very dangerous. So these are the names for the meal tickets, but come afterwards to collect them. Mfundisi. Usnobile Nondwayana Mzumkul. Bese Lelige Albonagali Gasel Tajuli Welagota, Gibona Dusin and Tantla Besegba M J A Mchang as good master spell Ellis Bong. Got a linga nuli when Jelan Lonagel Leli Tigit. Umagu konum nigazwa lum tambe angezala. Bese umaisel tol el tati le ahamba yo lungi sala pezans la ben palisa kon. Se abongak. Bese ge gukona ezinye ime mezelo, ezimenye zelwe izolo, kotwa abanye bebe ngaga figi. So there are just some more announcements that were made last night, but some of, some hadn't arrived by then. Zibalulegi le nazo. Those are very important. The meal times. No, Sorry, the, the times for the, the sessions, for the services. So in the mornings, the first session service is at 10 o'clock. But as was said, 
Half past nine, we start coming into the auditorium. After lunch, the next session is at three, half past two, quarter to three, we must be seated. So in the evening, it's at seven o'clock, half past six, quarter to seven, we all be seated. Now concerning the meal tickets that you received down there, so this year, it's a booklet with many tickets inside. Please look after that booklet of yours. We heard this morning, some have lost them already. They don't even have their meal tickets for the day, for today. Please, is that clear? Look after that booklet. Concerning the girls who have their own eating tent, right down near where they sleep, near Doctors for Life. And of course, the boys, as usual, your tent is the blue and white one here. Meal times are as follows. In the mornings, breakfast, half past seven. We are don't come late, don't come at 8 o'clock, because by that time things are being tidied up. Why? We need to get ready for the session for the service. So it requires that we get up early, have a shower, get ready, dress, so that you can have breakfast on time. Lunch time, one o'clock. Supper time, half past five. Supper I trust you'll all remember those times. Now, at the store, the shop at Saverat, you can go there and buy it any time, but not during service time. So half past two is the cut off time. No buying after that. Another announcement. I, I trust you remembering all that we've said so far. When we come into this auditorium here, we must do it with respect. No eating in this auditorium. Don't bring your chips and cool drink into the into here. And another thing with your cell phones, they don't get charged in the auditorium. So when we are here, out of respect, all cell phones are switched off so that we can pay attention to what's said. If we do it this way, it will be a pleasure. So please, each thing that I've announced, 
remember it. So we may repeat it when others arrive, just so that we get into the, the hang of it. I just wanted to find out this looks empty. Oh, I bet Ben Zenga Mabom, Wooting Bona, Aban to Best Selling Upper, Aban to Best Selling Upper, La Parat Nenda, Lungi Lagumago Wooty, Wooselum Sambe, and it's Selil. That's fine. That's the way it's been organized. Eh, Gitelu Wootim Sambe, Ugo the Emfa Wengons, or Ginga Long, Suguma, Gifunda Makama, Amani. So just to make it, um, just to announce everything now before we start, there are some names here that I'm going to read out that are required at the school hall. Atulile Manzagangela. Besegubba the school hall. So these names directly after the service, they must go straight to the school hall. Gushu uti guleli tuba gela manje na gizon nigeza ubabu hadeba uguti eze la azon muzi mbuzo uguze sizwe uguti nilalelega aseini enkonzwe ni ezule ebe sinayo. So we'll hand over now to Mr. Hadebe who will be asking us questions to test our memories about the last service that we listened to, and he'll ask us about it. Even in this service, listen well, because there are prizes for the good listeners and the people who remember. Good morning, young people. So we now at that time just to see how well we were listening last night. Uh, Reverend Stegan likes to do and Give good things to the young people. And the people. So what's included there is anybody who answers well gets either a Bible or a, a, a book. Umbuzo wa mwokala, mitelugu pegisa la gumantomba zanyan. First question will be directed to this side for the girls. So if you do, or if you are called to the front, just quickly come up, give your name, where you're from, etc., before you answer the question. 
nangumbuzo wa mokala uti isloko se inkonzo zalo nyaka. First question, the theme of the conference this year, December. Konje si tatelue gwe ipi inwate paipilen unche linwate i chapter kanye ne nefes. Where is it taken from in the Bible? The book in the Bible, the chapter and the verse. Oh. I don't know. There's a hand there, Mr. David. Uh, the one in the whitish, uh, the one with the hand up, right up. Okay. Yes. No, this one here. Yes, when? Sanboyna ikamalami ngunon ngunon bolelo garam chaling ke kamuga imnambisi ingwadi itsatwe ngoguga Johann seven verse thirty seven and thirty eight. Kela simshali zanda. Gine pai pilgela elesi elesi zulu. Nelesungisi, Nengwati, and So I have three prizes here. She's answered correctly a Bible and two books. One of them tells about the story or the history of the mission. So she's chosen a, a Zulu Bible. Second question goes to this side, to the boys. Wagungo Punyaga going the lap of Ubabum Fundisi, Bathangana, Nez Sebendes in Sundu, Bafunda Lelivis, Elis Logo, Balbugisis, Wagungo Mupunyak. So the question is which year did Reverend Stegan get together with his co workers and they looked at this verse which is which we have which is in question? Salmona, I come along and go tennis and this bongo salmon go agas cacaning a pelinet to me brook. Oh, Unia Gayne lie and a baby sang a neck on a nineteen sixty six. Nineteen sixty six. So this young boy is from Donnybrook and he's answered correctly to say that it started in 1966. Okay. So he's answered spot on, and he would like a, a Zulu Bible. Omunyumbuzo enzo pegisa gumanto mazani guti izo lo kulunye ngenzizwa e William Colgate. So another question for the girls. Yesterday it was spoken about a young boy and his name was William Colgate. 
Ngicela ukubuza ukuthi uWilliam Colgate wayedabuka kweliphi izwe. The question where did he come from? Which country? Sanborn, a Camalam, no sepo had tab and come game numbers. Oh, Ilian, why come with America? Why come with America? Okay. Uti, why come with America? So that's the right mm -hmm. answer. He was in America. No ma beg nashuongo. Lombuzo Ubutandu Patrick or Nagotwa Ibiveli the flag yes America get in Ibonile Lapa. Okay, see a bonga. A bit of a tricky question, but if you had noticed that the flag was an American flag that was shown. Okay. So, for answering correctly, she also chooses a Zulu Bible. Bantabasha Bexanda Gokulun Yangela Genda by Intro Nipo Sikelti Sazi Bafano Guti Sisa Suntueni Akshawa Makuelo Aumemez Nomiganjan Kushuk Shaili Zanda Simhara Lisel Mundo Winile Kotwa Asingi Boys We've just been told about respect. We can sh uh, clap our hands, but it must stop there. Nothing further. Last question. William Colgate Gutua Washone Lua Ubaba Wake Mnan. It is said William Colgate lost his father at a young age. He was very young. Umawake Eptaga and his mother was he was left with his mother. Why Eptaga? Oh sorry. And his mother was very weakly, sickly. William Colgate, why in a miyage of fourteen galeso scat. Kwabe sek funega uguti kubenguye onagela umdenwak. And he was only fourteen, the boy. And it was required that he should now take over and provide for the home. And so I want somebody to come forward and just give us a picture of the, from the time that he lost his father, all that he went through, the difficult part until he found a job. Hello to you all, how are you? William Colgate. Yesterday, Reverend Stegen <coughs> spoke about William Colgate. William Colgate was fourteen years. He lost his father at the age of fourteen. 
o William Kolkaiti, Kumele Ayegi Skolo, and a 14 years. And he, he left school uh, as well at that age? William Kolkaiti, William Kolkaiti, Bogmele Anageke Luma Marke. So he had to look after his mother, so he went out to find a job. And his mother prayed for him uh, daily in his endeavors. And he went from door to door, right through the city, looking and applying for a job. So there was really no door that he hadn't knocked on, but eventually he got to this one where they, it was a factory that makes soap. William Begekoga Impasha Esgamayagayaga Eslend. He was extremely thin and he was dressed very poorly. His clothing was very bad. Megeti Mangena Ezofunum Sebenzi. So wherever he went and he applied, they took one look at him and said, well, they saw the way he dressed and they would say, look, you are too small, you are too weak to do anything. When he finally reached the, the door of the factory where they made the soap, he firstly, when he was, was accepted, he went and he found a place to be alone and to pray. And he made, and he made an agreement and a promise to God. It was before actually he was accepted, he went and he prayed and he promised that, Lord, whatever I make, I'll give you 10% of my earnings. And he prayed and he cried tears. And he took an old rag and he wiped his tears so nobody would know that he had been crying. He went, he knocked at the door. And he was answered by a strange voice. Sorry, a strange voice, like a lion's voice, like a lion. He got in there and he applied by saying, please, would you give me a job? We are destitute at home. He was asked, what work can you do? And he said, whatever, sweeping or cleaning the floor, anything I will do. Amen. I think everybody
can hear and see that he was really listening. He has asked for a or English one. English Bible. He is answered so well that he will also receive 20 rand beside the Bible. And Young people, thank you. Let's listen in the service because we are going to carry on with our questions and rewards. Especially young people, we respect the house of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Hatebe. Thank you to you young people as well. You have shown us that you are listening and you are paying attention. Each one who came to the front answered correctly. May you continue and do the same right through all these services. If you do that, it won't just be a prize here at the front. You will receive a blessing from the Lord. That's what I wish you is the blessing of the Lord uh, as you are here in the service. One announcement that I'd forgotten. All who are Sutu speaking that don't understand Zulu, Babubaloi is up there uh, for interpretation. Go to him there and he will interpret for you. We, we would like it that everybody understands what is said in the service in their own tongue. And another announcement. These people must please go to reception after the service. Those two that are mentioned. And they require to go and see their sister after the service. I think now I've finished all the announcements. We are now going to ask a choir the young people, the young preachers, to come forward. After they have sung, I won't stand up again. The service we'll hand over to Baba Dube, Reverend Dube. He will be taking the service this morning. The Lord bless you. Amen.
Naming and being a lelang a camalinko said to Jesus Christ. I also greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shabong Alaba got the best Kulela Abba Shumaili Abangan. Thank you to the young preachers that have sung for us. This Kulele got the Shabong. The singing was beautiful. Thank you. Pam Vesens a long games of Bella's Tandas. Before we continue, shall we pray? Shang Meman Kulungulwe to Ube Paratiguit. Our Heavenly Father, we invite you to be among us. Lord, may you speak to us through your word. Open our minds, open our hearts and our ears, Lord, that we will hear that which you are going to speak to us. Amen. Amen. Uh, in 1966, in 1966, I'd just like to correct something. Yesterday it looked like it was also just uh, hitting the, it's the side of the mark. We should go to 1966, 1966, I was 17 years old. Why cons are not in a Lesus Cati, Essenzela in cons? We were in the service together with Reverend Stegen, and he would hold services for us. We should go to Was Fundela Lelis, Lilithi Umum de Cola Jung, Gushogum Palo, Goko Posa in Fool. He read this verse to us that if we believe. As the scriptures have said, from our innermost beings will flow rivers of living water. And he read that to the whole congregation. And praying and asking the Lord for revival. The Holy Spirit to come down was not just with the co-workers, it was with the congregation. And at that time I was still a child, but I was part of the I was privileged to be part of that where we prayed that the Lord would come down. And we are thankful like Mr. Dahl who's been who's here and there are also those older ones that were with us and understand how it was at the beginning with our church. And when we were praying for revival, all of us, we were on our knees asking God to come down. In 1966. It was in 1966. In 1968, I was called into the ministry to further the gospel to the Lord Jesus. And Reverend Stegen said that he would like to go as the Bible says, not according to a denomination, but as the Bible guides. And he would like to go he would preach at a place. The people would get converted and we come back later. They would be fighting among each other. And then said, that is why we need to believe as the Bible says. And I will read that word and then we will hear a clip, a story about Mantlengosi. Mantlengosi. 
Wilson, Namtlanjege, Sizos Ekuluma, Ngomalde Nkos. And today we will hear Reverend Stegen share with us the story of Mantle Nkosi. Ngoba wahambinda we ningi umante nkosi eti ko telu ba chele ko wenze gaki mchela mabanta ni sozo agena iso kume mdonye nwake e sholo ye. And with Mantle Nkosi's request, Reverend Stegen went to many churches and he shared the story and you will hear him say it. Ni sozo kutiku ngani wa shonja alu kutiku and you will hear why it is that he said that they must go and speak about him. And the theme says, what flows out of you? I will read the portion that Reverend Stegen read to us, that is the theme of these services. And I trust that you will all listen carefully. As we have heard, one of the questions that it is read, we find it in John chapter 7. And in verse 37. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now, children, they grasp what is said. I also understood. He asked us, out of our innermost being, are there rivers of living water flowing? And we said, no. I myself also said, no, it doesn't. These rivers of living water do not flow from within us, as Jesus has said. Why said And he said, with me it is also so. Now sasifunage And we searched ourselves before God and said, what? does flow out of our hearts. And we were able to identify and see which rivers were flowing in our hearts that were not the living water. Each and every one searched their life to understand what flows out of their hearts? I don't know if it is something that has only come up now, but in those days, children were not reprimanded and told in the service to be quiet. They were always quiet. And the rivers that were flowing out of our hearts, each one saw the sin that was in their heart and they could make it right so that that living water started to flow out. And 
kube yona le mfulo yathola ukuthi yona idala lokho ukuthi ngagobhozi imfulo uNkulu Nkulu angakwazi ukusebenza empilini yayo and each and every one went and made right where that those rivers that were not clean that were flowing out of their lives no fundi skole kwafanele ukuthi nalo nalo akwazi kobuyisana ningane eskoleni abuyisane nawo nabafundisi othisha eskoleni and those who were still at school went back to school made right with their classmates made right with their teachers kwatholakala ke lapho ke manje ukuthi sekufanele sijonge ukuthi sitholwe moya ingcwele and then from there we saw that we need to go deep so that we can receive the holy spirit yaqala kanjalo ukuvuselela ukuthi nathi savuseleleka sifundela izenzo sifundela wonke ukuthi abapho apostoli babe njani babe iphatha kanjani sathola nathi kuzwa ubumnandi bokuhlangana no Jesu and that is how the revival came down that is how we took the book of acts we saw what the apostles did and how they lived how they did for the lord to come down and be among them ngoba sasibona nje ukuthi ukukholwa kwethu kufana namaphepha nje olokhela manje yabona seliphelile njalo uvuthe kwale sesikashana sekupheleli and we realized that our faith was a faith of papers kungulani ukuthi sikhonza uNkulu Nkulu kuleyo ndlu endala eneniswa ngayo ngomlando omaniswa kukhulunywa ngayo and remember that at that time we were coming together in that old cow shed as we have heard in the history waqala kuNkulu Nkulu wasishuka ngempilo zethu nayo uqobo lwakhe wamshuka washukeka kwaphela ukuthi ungumlungu ngomhlophe zashintsha izinto oh and the lord started working in our lives each and every one and the one who was a white the lord took that whiteness out of him ilona lo walungisa kulona lowo ukuze kwazi uqondisa emkhondweni yakhe and the lord worked with each one so that their path could become straight kwaye la manje ke sesimcela kuNkulu Nkulu ukuthi ehle abe phakathi kwethu sikuthi asebenze empilweni sethu and that is where we ask god to come down and have worked in our lives akavelanga nje ukuthi maye ehle uNkulu Nkulu wahla kwabakalula nje kwaba ilona lo wayifuna ukuthi mangabe noma kukukhona into evimbili ukuthi ngagobhozi le mfula akwazi ukuthi avume ayihlanganise nenkosi it was not just an easy matter for god to come down each one had to look at their lives search their lives what is there that is preventing those living waters to come out wena mo khulekele imvuselelo ufuna uNkulu Nkulu aqhubeka sebenze ngomoya ingcwele kufanele uzifune noma ufune emabandle nakho asebenze uNkulu Nkulu ucele imvuselelo akiyona into encane if you are asking for revival you need to go deep you need to go back to your church the people that you are you need to make right to ask for revival is not something small ngoba kufumina kufukuyiqhenya kufuba nempigogo kuphela ngisho amagqubo umufuna le mvuselelo yourself you die to yourself your pride your ma ufuna le mfula igobo zekufanele kufumina kufimona kufukuyiqhenya kufukuyikhukhumeza kufe kuphela nya empilini yakho jealousy um all those evil things lies they need to stop in your life if you want those living waters to flow from within you ma uzwa ku verse 38 ino shuma thathu nesijagalo mbili ithi okholwa yimi njengokusho kombhalo esithi sakhe kuyagobhoza imfula yamanzi In verse 38 we read whoever believes in me as the scripture has said out of his heart will flow rivers of living water oh ma sikholwa uye kokobhoza imfula phakathi esweni sethu if we believe in him ubalwekile ukuthi sikholwa ujesu ilapho ke imfula yogobhoza imfula empilini zethu kholwe njengokusho kombhalo It is important for us to believe in Jesus as the scriptures say so that the liv living water can flow out from within us. Ubalekile ukuthi sikholwe njengoba imbalo isho ilesi sikhathi ke imfula amasifuna ukuthi igobhoze igobhoze empilini zethu. 
It is important for us to believe as the scripture says so that these living waters can flow from within us. Do we believe in him so that the living water can flow from within us? There was an elderly man somewhere where I was preaching about this that if you believe as the scriptures say that living water will flow from within you and he stood up and said Baba Tube, that is not possible. If someone is alive that rivers of living water flow from him that's impossible. But the spirit of deserting had entered into him. The spirit of deserting had entered and he is going against what is written in the Bible. And I said, sorry my father, please sit down, let me explain. And I said, it is spiritually that those rivers flow. He thought that it was physical rivers. If you have anger, if you are stubborn, if you have grudges, they will all depart, and then that love, the spirit, and the rivers of love will flow from within you. We need to believe as the scripture says, so that those living waters can flow from within us. Jesus stood out and cried out in a loud voice during the feast that whoever believes in me, as the scriptures say, rivers, rivers, uh, living water will flow from within him. In the flesh, you can never understand that. Only spiritually, you can understand it. Where the Lord says, if your right hand makes you sin, cut it off. And if your eye makes you sin, then gouge it out. And as a child, you think that if I am a boy and I have an eye for a girl, must I gouge out my eye or if I still cut off my hand? But it is said so spiritually. If you believe, then that hand that steals, that eye that looks, even in the service where you are wandering with your eyes, it will come to an end. Whoever believes in me, Jesus refers to himself. From within him, rivers of a living water will flow. Not a river. Is there even anything flowing from your life? Rivers will flow from within us. Now, if you are a child of God, may it be seen that indeed you are a Christian. And not that today 
you surrender yourself to the Lord. And then tomorrow you go back to that mire. A person like that is referred to as a dog, a dog who vomits and then goes back and eats his vomit. A child of God must not be like a dog. Tomorrow you are angry. Tomorrow you don't want to be sent. You are doing all different kinds of things that make others unhappy. Let's look at a word that goes together with this in John chapter 3. Let us look in chapter 3 of John chapter 3 what it says about to believe. Verse 16, we read, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. If we believe in the Son of God, we will have a life, an eternal life with God. We need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus comes to you and says, what is troubling you? You say, this and this is troubling me. And then the Lord can forgive you and give you eternal life. We need to believe when we believe and to that which we hear, when we believe that advice that we are given and told, do it like this. In Zulu, when you are satisfied and you've eaten enough, you say, now I believe. And when you believe, you should not be doing sin and evil anymore because you have believed and you have forsaken these things. Do you believe? that Jesus Christ is able to save you of your sin? Do you believe that Jesus can help you with those problems that you are facing? Isaiah 1 verse 18 says, Even though your sin is as red as scarlet, it will be as white as snow. If you have any burdens, you need to bring them to the cross of Jesus Christ for you to be helped. And Rivers of living water started to flow, and then the revival continued. And we didn't know that in 1970 we would come here to Kwasizabantu. There is a boy who is 16 among us that said yesterday, 
wathi hawu nami ngicela ukuthi ngiyithole le mpula nami gobo zeke ngaphakathi he had a desire and asked may these rivers of living water also flow from within me ngabona ukuthi lo mfana uzwe kahle uyayifuna nalo lo mfula ukuthi gobo ze ngaphakathi entizini yakhe ikho ngambuze iminyaka ethi nami yafuna lo ukuthi ngithole lo kukuphila ngibe nemfula nami gobo ze ngaphakathi empilini yami and i saw that he understood what was being said and that's why i asked him how old he was because he realized that those rivers of living water need to flow from within him if we believe those rivers will flow not that we believe and yet within our lives is that evil that is still present we need to believe so that those waters will flow from within our lives as it so in our lives are those rivers flowing in verse 39 we read now this he said about the spirit whom those who believed in him were to receive if there are those among us who are here and those that are listening that believe then it will be so for you that these rivers can flow from within you as we listen and realize this is the secret we need to believe so that these rivers flow from within us there where i preach there where i walk there where i go that people can see these rivers are flowing from within me at school, there where you work, boys, girls, may it be evident that these rivers flow from within you. And where does it start? Find out what is blocking, what is stopping those living waters to flow from within you. That the families can see, mother and father, there is life that flows from within them. And even in your church, it is evident for all to see that in your life there are liver, rivers of living water. There is a, an animal called a snail. And where the snail has gone, it leaves a trail you can see. You can see a snail has traveled here. And with you as well, the life that you go, where you have gone, people must see a Christian has gone here. Where we can see a child of God has gone. And that you are brethren, children of God. And that people say, even though you have gone or passed on, that people say, this one walked with God. We were at school. We received this gospel and we grabbed hold of it. 
kukona ba peminta ngo penzi na penza zonke zinte zukota gala kutu wazi kuti there were those that were smoking tacha and doing all, even sniffing benzene, but it all stopped because they had received the Lord Jesus. And there where you are, may it be evident that you believe and that you are a child of God. In whatever place, form you find yourself, may it be evident that the Lord is in your life. And we purified our lives, we became one. We cried out to the Lord because we had cleansed our lives for him to come down. As the Bible says, as you come together, may you be one. May there not be something that you say, I will repay evil for evil. My poor, no more mamma, shy strap, and no mingan, shy strap, become me so to do that. When a father or a mother, there's a disagreement. When the one leaves the room, slams the door, even a child doing that to the parent, they must not be that. I got be calling fool, I got go both. There are no living waters flowing. Galas is cut to for me, so no sacco, us be selling go sin, o kala pam gangulungulu to onil. When you come to the Lord, you confess your sin, you make your life right. That is the start of where those living waters will start to flow. Do we experience, do we believe as the scriptures say, for those waters to, to start flowing within our lives. Brethren, it is so important to believe as the scriptures say. If you believe, but you do not do, and go as the scriptures say, you have not Come to the right level. If brethren still disagree and there is still strife and fighting within you, then you have not come to the point where those living waters can flow from within you. Within the children, parents, teachers, it is needed that we can see that those rivers of living water are flowing from within you. God sent his only begotten son to come to this world that he who believes in him would not perish. We need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ so that when the day of judgment come that we do not go to that place where there is gnashing and of teeth. Thank you very much for the way that you listened. And now we will listen to Reverend Stegen relate us the story of Mantlenkosi. I trust that they will start now. Now let me end with the story. 
kama kumungu ngisate lembalane ngihambe ngishuma ilivangeli before i got to mapumulu when i was still preaching i was at mbalane at the time going to different places preaching the gospel kwa nomfano thile wayinikela a certain boy had committed himself gama holy tendalo bemvakashela hlale nami ngihambe naye ngihambe naye ngiyothuma ilivangeli and on holiday during holiday times he would come to me to and go with me out in preaching the gospel bewindota he was like a son gama khamane from the Kamanes. Kaman what's the king's clean Kaman family from the king's cliff area oise uomfana ube nuhlanya but engafuna ukubona ukholwa but uh, the boy's father was like a madman wanted nothing to do with christianity umama wakho umaqhamane wakholwa his mother umaikholwa umyeni wakhe wafika emshaya ngendunge enkulu embonya ngayo ngelinye ilanga wamhlala phandle kwendlu ngenhlandla bekhona isikhotho esikhulu wayifudule ngasakwazi ukuhamba wayifudule otshanini eqasho otshanini ebusuku had been beaten by the husband when she became a christian to such an extent one night that she had to crawl away in the grass to escape with her wounds. I can't call you mutu like haya. I'm full of God. I'm full of my call. He had said, I don't want any Christian in my home. I don't want my wife to be a believer. He worked in Durban. I visited him. I visited her and saw her wounds. She had crawled away trying to escape. I said be strong in the Lord, persevere even though our faith brings suffering, there's a reward in heaven. And then a little child got converted. And every holiday he would come to me was like my own son saying Father when I grow up I want to go with you to preach the gospel and he really was a living testament couldn't wait for school to finish to preach the gospel when he finished school what come wins the father came what him fana mfikile ukuthi ngikulande ngizohamba nawo ngiye thekwini ngi uyosebenza manje and said now boy i have come to fetch you to come to durban you need to work now baba bengithini ngizoshuma elivangeli na athi uyeke lokho ngingiyihlo mina waza wamthatha wahamba naye we wayethekwini kwaba ukuhlukana kwethu nomphela he said father but i'd hope to preach the gospel he said no you listen to me i am your father and you do it as i say and he took him to durban and that's where he disappeared he worked there. i would ask after him only news i got was that he was with his father working in durban and he was forced to be there but after a time i got a message that he was in jail was in jail for a very serious crime with five others what to dana ne gang he had been in a gang he had been in a gang robbing stealing bamba bomunye had attacked somebody 
He had his knife, he had pulled out his knife and stabbed that person with his knife. He had stolen their money. And again, his knife was used in yet another attack, even though he hadn't done it himself. Then it was said he was transferred to a Pretoria prison where his trial was to be held. After quite a few weeks, his trial was held. And so all six were sentenced to death to be hanged. The boy cried bitterly. Their boss, the leader of the gang, the leader of their gang, laughed at him. Mocked him and said, What, you're a girl, you're crying like a little child. Then he wrote me a letter. And now, I don't know where I have mislaid that letter because after that area, I went to Mapumulu, then Sizabantu, and somewhere I lost the letter. But in the letter, he said, please tell everybody, every church about my story. Tell all the churches about my experience. Why is that called Testamental Tala? He quoted the Old Testament saying where it says, if you make a promise, woe to you if you do not keep it. I would read that letter every so often and I would cry each time. There was no letter that stirred me as much as that one did. I found that I phoned Pastor Voldemar up there in Johannesburg. I said, look, I'm far away, but you are closer. Go to him. Go and visit him often. Comfort him. He became a close friend as he visited him very often in jail. Lati Sasa Nawe 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 Kusugulwe Lokina Lokhengwa. And then one day a policeman came to their cells and said, You, you, and you, tomorrow you are to be executed. E Iposlavo Lake Lape said, So would take Sasa, so we go, Wakana. His boss, his boss, the one who was their gang leader, burst into tears, was then himself like a little child when he was faced with the reality of the death he would face the next day. The next morning, 
Pastor Voldemar went to him, prayed with him. And this boy said, Greet. Greet Pastor Stegen, here is another letter for him. I would so wish to have that letter again. To read to you, it stirred me, it would stir you as he shared in that letter. Read it to everybody. If you make a promise to God, make sure you keep it. Learn from my story. I got the message that the next day they were to be hanged. For the judges said, it wasn't just one person you killed, but a second one. Though you hadn't done the stabbing, it was your knife, you were part of it. And so, Pastor Valdemar went. To the hangman's cell, and on the way, it was he was singing as if though he was seeing heaven. The others were dead quiet, including his boss. He was then stopped at the execution cell where the others were then led in and they, he only then heard the trap door as they were hung. To finish. He said, I could hear him singing till the trap door was sprung and there was sudden silence. He went home. He couldn't eat. Dinner, supper, the next day. He said, Olo, I just can't eat. I have lost all strength through that which I have witnessed. The father and mother of that boy were then shown his corpse. They came and told me about it. I said, what was it like? He said it was very sad. He was full of life and the next moment they were shown his corpse. He said, please, in his letter to me, go and tell Christians everywhere, go to all the churches that they learn from my lesson. If they've made a promise, even as a child, 
to keep it. Otherwise, learn from me. Before I give the MC that he can close, I trust that you heard everything. There's a word that goes together with a promise. If we find in Ecclesiastes, and if you are at home, it would be good for you to also read it. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 4. When you vow a vow to God, do not delay paying it. For he has no pleasure in fools. Pay what you vow. Verse 5. Verse 5. It is better that you should not vow than that you should vow and not pay. This young man made a vow to Reverend Stegen that he would come and preach the gospel with him, but he obeyed his father, and the end was that he was on the noose. Maybe you have made a decision, a promise that you will live for the Lord. There's maybe much that you have been helped and saved from, but today you have not kept all your promises. He reaped what he had sown. He did not fulfill his vow. And he was um, put on the news with all his friends. If you make a vow to the Lord Jesus, do not delay in fulfilling it. Maybe you were sick and you said, if I will get better, or you were writing exams and you say, if I pass, then I will, if I, if I pass, then I will do this and that. You have not kept your vow. And if you have made a decision that you will live for the Lord, it would be good for you to keep that promise. How often do we promise people things and then we don't keep them? The Lord in heaven is writing down, you promised so and so this and you have not kept that promise. And it says it is better that you should not vow than that you should vow and not pay. If I am helped with this, if I'm able to accomplish this, Lord, I will do this. And then you are unable to keep that vow. May the Lord help us that if we make a vow, that we would keep them. If you have committed your life to the Lord and say that you will live for the Lord, may you truly live for God. 
Senso Tetelage um Patrocero Boyenos Petila. We'll leave it over to the MC to close off for us. We thank the Lord for this service today. Starting where Reverend Dube spoke about the, the rivers of living water and then getting to the story that Reverend uh, Stegen told us about Mandangos. I do trust that as we were sitting, we heard, we listened. If we listen carefully, this can be a good thing to stand us in good stead for our lives. And the question is, initially, what comes forth and flows out of your life? And I would like to, each one of us to ask what actually comes out and flows out of my being. One day, Reverend Stegen was talking about this matter and he said the following. When the water, living water flows forth, from a life. If that water flows upon an arid or desert place, that place is changed. And if there is no longer sin coming forth, but rivers of living water, the place around me is changed for the better. When the people see that change in you, the people now are infected and they get, they also are changed and they praise the Lord for those, uh, those rivers that have come forth to change them as well. We've heard that the thing that stops and restricts any living water flowing out, it is the one thing which is sin. And I appeal to each and every one of the young people that are here, that if there's anything that you are aware of, any sin in your life, that you will bring it to the Lord and that he will forgive you. And that God, in that way, will help you and use your life. That's why after each and every service, there are older people that are there who you can go to and seek guidance, speak to them and be prayed for uh, that are prepared to help you. 
Gifisa Utwa Nati Song as Nal Seven Zalelo Tu. I do trust and hope that each one of us will use that opportunity. Let us now close our service in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for thy word which we have received this morning. There is much, Lord, that we have received that will be a help to our souls. We pray, Lord, give us tender and receiving hearts to receive that which you want for us. And that which we have received, Lord, please grant that the devil will not have that chance that he would like to try and snatch it away. But Lord, that it will stay and continue to help us in our lives. Lord, we ask you that at this midday time, you would help us and be with us further. Amen. 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 Just those two announcements that I had uh, forgotten. Thank you, the Lord bless you. Thank you.